Hey guys, John here, and welcome back inside the, the toy condo. <laughs> You're watching the Super Awesome Geek Show, and today we have some more Chuck Norris and the Karate Commandos. This time we have Super Ninja and his Ninja Force Warriors, Vulture Ninjas, I guess they were called, and... We're going to take a look at these guys and their play features. This is going to be awesome. Really cool figures. I really like these guys. The ninja especially are just really cool. And then Hardhead is sitting here because don't forget, we've got a contest going on right now, a giveaway. So look for the Hardhead, the, the Transformers Headmaster Hardhead Enduros video. It's already up. I'll put a link in the description below, and it is uh, that video will tell you how you could win this exact figure in this retro style box. It's really cool. I do a whole review on the figure and then tell you how you can win that. And uh, so f watch that video if you want to win that thing because he's pretty cool. And um, one lucky winner out of everyone who enters will be chosen to win it. See, only one person wins it, but you know what I mean. It's a drawing. So back on Super Ninja and his Vulture Ninja Force. Let's take a look at their features and everything. Super Ninja is a cool looking character. The purple and yellow are just awesome. He's got a red sun on his chest. Pretty skin tight sort of outfit until you get to the pants. Rugged boots. He's wearing a mask so you don't because you don't know who he is. Super Ninja the back of the figure with his wild hair he's got the sun symbol on his back as well could be claws that could be claws symbol they never made a figure of claw which was too bad because he was the main bad guy the leader of it all and here's a close-up view of the ninjas in the ninja force vulture ninjas now these also came in red, the opposite colors basically, red with a black symbol. And um, we don't, I don't really know why, because that I don't remember him being red in the TV show. He has the uh, ninja type boots, the two-toed boots, wrap that goes around his ankles. And he's wearing a typical ninja style gi or outfit, whatever you want to call it. Really cool. And the back, the back of our ninjas show the tie in his hat hood, the ribbing around his neck, the wrap around his waist, going down to the wrap around his ankles and his finally his shoes, his boots, the way they are. Really cool. So Super Ninja's features here, Super Ninja does have bendable elbows, moving arms, just like most of the other figures. A rubberized head that does, he's not as, he's more solid in his head because of his hair than other characters. His legs do move and have knee joints, but you gotta be careful with this one because this is the gimmick. And as you can see, the leg is pretty loose because they want the gimmick to work. And what the gimmick is on him is that his waist turns and he can kick. So that's what you want. You want him to be able to flick that leg up when he kicks. That's why it's loose. So when you're playing with him as a kid, you'd be like, wah, wah, wah. You want that leg to kick up. So that's kind of his gimmick there. It, it's difficult to pull off. I like the squeezing arms more. Like if they had done something like that, you could actually play and wow, kick them. 
but having to hold him down basically having to hold the bottom of him and twist the top you know because you can't just twist with one hand you've got to use two so now you're stuck doing this as a kid it's just more it's more difficult to pull it off but it's a cool gimmick i like the kicking forwardness of it i think that's a cool idea and it's better than having the leg that you push down on i think that chuck has you know so yeah super ninja also has one of these little clip-on boot weapons that are like chucks he's got these divots in his shoe and you put the divot you put that on in the divots of the shoe and then when he kicks fix the lighting here i don't know what's going on with my lights today but they're creating shadows I don't get it because like things are in the same position every day they don't move as you can tell from the background <laughs> but yeah he um do this and now you got that that weapon kicking the added weight of the weapon actually i think helps in the kicking motion too so pretty good there and then he also has this awesome curved sword with these giant little spikes on it it's just outrageous you know it's like truly 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 outrageous yeah who knows that one right so that can go in his hand and look pretty cool like that i wish it could go in the other hand but it cannot it only seems to fit in the one hand because, you know, it'd be neat if he was moving his sword over like that, but he's, yeah. He does kick, he can kick someone down, I guess, so. He'd be like, there we go. You're down, and I'm not looking at you when I kick you. So, yeah, that's Super Ninja. There you go. Let's do the uh, Ninja Guy. So I've got a couple of these. They're in various states of operation. So Ninja Guy has this cool sword. Red dagger type sword. And he's got this sun symbol spiked dealy on this scythe thing. It's like detached with a rope. There you go. And that is, uh, this seems to be the more common of the two weapons to have. Um, this dagger seems to be more difficult to find than anything else. Which is why I've got two of these weapons and only one dagger. And then I just found a, this is kind of a cheaper one. I don't think he works, his gimmick. Yeah, he doesn't work anymore. But he just, to stand in for the background his paint apps kind of wearing off but it's always good to have more ninjas so when i found him for cheap i was like i'll take him even if he isn't perfect but this is probably the best one of the lot and uh his gimmick works pretty good still i'll put the weapon in his hand you basically have to ratchet his hand up to wherever you want it and then when you push this one he uh Okay. He's not going to work. Hold on, let's see if this one does. Oh, there it goes. They were working right before the video. I made sure everyone worked. It's barely working. But yeah, it, it flips down like that. Yeah, like that, you know. Be the one that this one might work who knows yeah he does it <laughs> okay yeah he does it so that the one that's broken the most is the one that works the most hold on let's see i don't think he's gonna work 
yeah, I think he's... Yeah, he's just completely... Wow, the one that looks the best is the worst of the bunch. Let's try this one again. Yeah, he doesn't work that well. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's give it this one to this guy and you can you will actually see the gimmick. So the one with the worst paint app is the one that actually works. I wonder if I can Nah, there's no way to really take these guys apart, is there? Pretty cool, though. I, I, it's a good gimmick when it does work. Because <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty cool feature, having him be able to flip like that. Awesome. So there's got to be some kind of band mechanism or clamp in there that's that's winding like a spring that's winding up. It's probably a metal spring that's winding up and uh, releases. So that's pretty funny that the only one that really truly works well is the uh, one with the worst paint app. <laughs> but it doesn't matter that much because like I said, you pretty much, I have these on display and I'm not running around playing with them or anything. So that's cool. Super Ninja and his Vulture Ninja Force, Chuck Norris and the Karate Commandos. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at this one. They're pretty cool if you ask me. I think they're neat. I like these figures. I do wish they had made more figures. I wish we got Pepper too, too bad and, and uh, the Claw. The main villain. The main villain, at least, right? You want that main villain. Too much. That was his name. Not too bad. Too much. Too much. <laughs> the kid. But, you know, the kid we probably could have done without. But Pepper was in every... We needed Pepper and we needed Claw, you know? But we never got them. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Next up, we will do the car... The Kung Fu Karate car, the Corvette. It's all K's. Kung Fu Corvette Commandos car. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, everything is a K. But, um, yeah, it's a car. It's got Kung Fu abilities. And it's a Corvette. So it's cool. We'll do that one in the next video when we do another look at uh, Chuck Norris and the Karate Commandos. And don't forget about the hardhead giveaway. Go back and watch that video. You'll find it in the description below. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here. And I'll talk to you on the next one. See you guys.